Hello everyone, today I'm showing you the new FX795-2 video transmitter. Now being an FX79 series, it's very similar to some of our others, so we will go over some of the key differences. As you can see, we have an SMA adapter on the top, so you can use your favourite FastShark brand type of antennas. On the right hand side, we have our LEDs to show what band and channel you are on. There's also a button and microphone on board. Now the thing that separates this from the other FX79 series is this J5 connector here. In fact, it's actually a bridge. And straight out of the box, you will be getting a 25 milliwatt of power. If you want to go up to 200 or more milliwatts, all you need to do is snip that bridge connector and you will see that the power will then go up from somewhere between 200 and 300 milliwatts. So I'll give you a quick demonstration of what I mean. Here we have the Immersion RC RF meter. And as I turn on the video transmitter, you see that we're putting out a maximum of 23 milliwatts. And it does go down slightly as the video transmitter warms up. If we had an airflow blown over this, then we can keep the milliwatts up slightly. So what I'm going to do now is snip that J5 connection, if you can just see on the top right hand side. And you'll see that the milliwatts will then shoot up to its full power potential. And we've got a maximum there of 296 now that that is snipped. So that's how you can change your power from 25 up to a maximum of around 300. So if you find yourself in a situation where you really need to have the 25 milliwatts, then you can just bridge this connection again, whether it be with a little blob of solder, or even if you want to add your own micro switch on there, then you'll be able to switch between max and minimum power, which will be handy if you are going to some of the UK race meetings and 25 milliwatts is the maximum you are allowed to use. So that's it for this quick look at the FX79-2 video transmitter. If you're interested in seeing what the performance is like on these transmitters, then have a look at some of our previous videos, where we use one of these video transmitters to penetrate through and inside a building. So that's it. Links are below if you want any more information. Thanks for watching.